Hey, what's up guys? This is for I'm again back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. In the past days, I uploaded two videos with the best things in Minecraft Dungeons. The best weapon in the game, also the best piece of armor which you can get your hands on as of this point in Minecraft Dungeons. And I thought today was the perfect moment to talk about the best ranged weapon. Because of course you guys have so many more questions for me. I think this is already a very nice one to answer. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to check out the different ranged types of weapons because some are very awesome for shotgunning mobs from close quarters some are really nice to snipe down enemies from afar and of course some can be very awesome if you put the right enchantments on them for speed training so guys let's get right to it all right so guys here we are once again at the target dummy in the base camp and this time we are accompanied by billy the pig guys this is my little friend right here sometimes he's sniffling in those berry bushes but seriously look at this guy he is so cool seriously i really dig this pet anyways if you guys are interested in me making a top five video for pets let's say in minecraft dungeons just let me know i already made a video on how to install mods in minecraft dungeons so if you haven't checked it out definitely make sure to check out the top right of the screen right now and of course also in the description you will find the link to it anyways back to business guys right now we're gonna focus on the best range weapon in the game the best bow the best crossbow there are so many different types of them and you definitely want to get your hands on the best one so uh, let's just filter this with only range so i did prepare myself quite some time for this video so it will be very much appreciated if you can already hit that like button and that subscribe and of course also the bell for the notifications so you will be able to see every single video i post so first off of course we have the harp crossbows and also the lightning harp crossbow so i think these are very awesome ones to get your hands on this is by far the most popular crossbow in the game guys and i also agree with this that it's a very strong one for example if you get a combo with these three enchantments multi-shot power dynamo oh boy you are settled you will be able to hit enemies like a truck pretty much erase any mob in the game on the highest apocalypse difficulty we're not talking about bosses right here but seriously you can do some pretty funky stuff with the harp crossbow. Of course, we also have a second one right here. This one doesn't have very awesome uh, enchantments. So we have the growing second slot uh, dynamo or power. Both are very awesome. It's actually a very good alternative to each other. And then as third enchantment slot, mm, these are not very nice. And then last but not least, the lightning harp crossbow. Reason why I don't really like this one that much is because it has uh, the chance to ricochet. Ricochet is not fantastic, but um, it can do the job on certain uh, enchantment combos. But this one also only has the times three range damage. So it always only shoots three arrows. Let me show you that in a second. So look at that. Always three. But if you equip the regular harp crossbow, it will actually shoot five instead. So this is way more interesting, guys. The damage output is going to be so much greater. If you stand very close to an enemy, you will be able to put five of those arrows right into his chest, which is going to deal so much damage. So um, I also have this uh, both Lost Souls equipped. I will talk about that in a second. But um, right now, let's focus on a different category. So we have some pretty awesome ones right here that will allow you to one-hit kill from very close range. I call these the shot shotguns guys these are very awesome shotguns and the next um line is actually also shotgun based a little bit so we have the fireball thrower right here this one can also use the long range so it shoots a slug with tons and tons of damage literally um chance of chain reaction and explodes on impact so that means firework guys seriously this is a crazy fireball thrower the name says it itself but uh, if you add some extra damage to this one with power so power boosts the extra error damage by 33 percent also a multi-shot for example you will be able to shoot even more of those arrows that will already deal a great deal of damage and then last but not least um, for this one of course i don't have a choice but growing could be very cool for example if you're shooting this one from afar Use it as long-range sniper rifle, let's say. You will already deal a lot of damage with those instant hit arrows. So uh, let's do that for a second because we currently have enough um, enchantment points. Let's take the firebolt thrower. Um, actually, I'm going to stand in the southeast so I will be able to see the target dummy. So if I shoot right now, bam, look at that. With a multi-shot, of course, we don't really need that right now. 
if you only shoot one arrow, it already deals 64,000 damage. And look at the size of these things, man. It is insane. Anyways, um, so we have the firebolt throwers and also the imploding crossbows. I think both of them are really, really great. And uh, let's just replace these two because you, of course, want to see the crazy damage on them. 32,365 range damage. This one is also like the exploding, I mean, the firebolt uh, thrower because it explodes on impact, but this one actually pulls enemies in. So you could also go with something like power, um, you could take a multi shot or a chain reaction. If you go with something like that, the chain reaction will shoot to all the enemies, which is pretty crazy. They already get sucked in, they shoot to all of them at the same time, so it scatters the shot. And I think that is a very awesome combo to use as well. But I'm simply not a huge fan of these three. I mean, I never play with uh, those heavy exploding cross bows. I really like to play with the casual bows, guys. I'm, I'm a simple man. I, all, I just want to play with the bows. So um, what I also have right here, guys, this is an interesting crossbow. It's actually not a very strong crossbow, but it is a very good all-round crossbow if you're playing with different builds, if you want to focus a little bit on survivability, but deal a certain amount of damage at the same time. This one, guys, just like my Bow of Lost Souls right here, actually focuses on healing you in the background as well. And Bow of Lost Souls or the Feral Soul Crossbow, they aren't necessarily the best bows out there, but I just wanted to talk about this for a second because some people definitely miss these opportunities if they simply don't have the information. So, Anima Conduit, I can't stress this out enough. This is one of the best healing enchantments securely in the game. So, when you use this one on your bow, guys, it will grant you a small amount of health for each soul you absorb, uh, so plus one soul gathering, and also on the tier 3, 6% of the max health will be applied as uh, healing per soul you gather. So um, in my opinion, this is a very nice heal that you should get your hands on, and you don't even have to kill the enemies with your bow in order to trigger the anima conduit. So I always pick either the Bow of the Lost Souls or the Feral Soul Crossbow in builds where I don't really use my bow because it will just give me a free healing in the background. So that does make sense, right? Um, on this one, of course, I just put maximum damage. Every time when we roll with the Dynamo, this will add some extra damage after the rolls. So um, that is really great stuff. And in combination with the power, this will definitely make uh, the Soul Crossbow, the Feral Soul Crossbow, a pretty nice hard-hitting bow. With the um, Bow of Lost Souls, I use this one for speed training. So I use, instead of damage, I use uh, the both Tempo Theft and Burst Bowstring. Burst Bowstring Tempo Theft combo is very awesome because, first of all, every time when you roll, guys, you will shoot nearby mobs when you roll, costing one arrow per roll. Projectiles deal 40% of a charged shot's damage. So, of course, they will deal not that much damage, but at the same time, if you kill something while speed training, of course, it will sometimes take some damage when you're speed training. the Anima Conduit will be able to heal you, and then at the same time, every time when you roll with a Burst Bowstring, you will steal a small amount of the mob's movement speed and give it to you for a certain amount of time. And this all for 50% of the speed, guys. So that means you will be able to speed run even faster if you already have a piece of armor equipped that has the swift-footed enchantment. Rolling makes you move faster for 3 seconds, plus 50% movement speed, and then of course, this boy right here, Tempo Theft, plus 50% soul and speed. So I think this is a very interesting combo that you should definitely focus on if you want to have a nice bow, but not really use it. So um, yeah, I think that does make a little bit of sense. Next up, we have the Winter's Touch. In my opinion, the best all-round bow in the game. Seriously, this one is so powerful on multiple uh, occasions. So first off, we have this fires three arrows when charged. And it also freezes enemies on impact, which is not that strong. But seriously, guys, if you always fire three arrows when fully charged, that means that you have a soft multi-shot built in, let's say. So um, in my opinion, a very nice built-in enchantment. For speed reading, of course, this is also very interesting because if you fire multiple arrows when charged, and actually when you use the burst bowstring enchantment, you will automatically charge your shots. So you will shoot to three targets, and with the fire three arrows when charged, you will actually shoot six targets. And of course, you will also steal the movement speed of those targets with the tempo theft. So um, of course, if you just want to keep rolling, keep shooting, because with a burst bowstring, you will run out of arrows quite fast, and uh, with uh, if you can actually back that up, so chance to immediately replenish an arrow after shooting. 
you will have an almost 50% chance uh, to restore those arrows when you roll with a burst bowstring. So for speed training, this winter's touch, this combo with enchantments is definitely very powerful. Next up, we have the Burst Guild Bow. I'm not going to talk a lot about this one, but um, I'm going to showcase it at the very end of this video because I think this combo right here is so much fun. Anyways, now moving on to the last tier, and these are the hard hitters, guys. The Guardian Bow, also the Winter's Touch with a certain set of enchantments, and then also the Red Snake. You can also use the Power Bow, but that one is definitely less powerful. And of course, there are more bows, guys. For example, the the um, Corrupted Crossbow, which I currently don't have, is very powerful as well because it has a built-in Dynamo enchantment. Um, once again, Dynamo adds damage to the next attack after rolling, so the Corrupted Crossbow is definitely worth mentioning right here as well, but I simply don't have it in my inventory. But I also don't think it's that powerful, and it's actually very difficult to get your hands on because it only pops on certain daily trials. Anyways, on to those powerful hard-hitting bows, guys. First off, we have the Guardian Bow right here. This one has a built-in strong charged attacks, and then also the supercharged arrows. So that enchantment pretty much means, that, uh, let's check it out right here, supercharged. So charged shots deal more damage and have more pushback. So at tier three, this is a plus 40% increased damage. But of course the built-in enchantment, which we see on the Guardian Bow and the Red Snake is the plus 20, but that's already a pretty nice addition. I mean, it's a free plus 25% damage to the bow. So on the Guardian Bow guys, you can make this bad boy so much stronger if you add some extra powerful enchantments in a mix at multiple arrows in the mix and guys seriously roll charge is something that many people overlook as well. When you perform a roll your next range attack within the timing window will automatically be fully charged. And guys seriously on tier 3 charge shot for 3 full seconds means that you can easily shoot the guardian ball for 3 seconds long and this of course with the application of the multi shot and the power will make you so powerful. So let's equip this bad boy for a second. When we roll right here and stand next to the target, then every time when we shoot, look at that, we can actually shoot six times. See, supercharge one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the roll charge is gone. But that means we can deal so much damage. Right, we roll once again. Look at this. We just insta tap our shoots. And um, of course, we don't always see the multi shot popping up, but sometimes it pops up multiple times. So that means you can deal so much damage with this combo. Next up, we also have the Winter's Touch right here. With uh, we can go with a roll charge, and this time we take something else. We take super charge, and then we can also take either the power or the dynamo. But I really like power because you have to roll only once. And you can shoot him for six times with the 33% increased damage on the power, then also the 40% increased damage on the supercharge. So pretty much, guys, you have a Winter's Touch right here. Firing three arrows when charged. With Roll Charge, you will charge it for three seconds. So that means you will always shoot three arrows for three seconds, which are supercharged with an increment of 40% damage and then another 33% damage. So you can tell that the Winter's Touch is such a crazy weapon, guys, when it comes to hitting enemies like a truck. So if you equip this one, roll one, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. That is madness. So if we see this one right here, 18 times supercharged, where we roll to the target dummy, one, two, three. Well, wait, my arrows are gone. So of course that uh, happens when you keep shooting. But uh, you get the point, guys. This one deals so much damage. Then last but not least, we also have the Red Snake right here. This one has strong charge attacks, chance for arrows to explode. So this is a built-in fuse shot. Let's see if we have it on one of these bows right here. There we go. Every few shots has a timed charge that explodes one second after impact, dealing 100% damage to nearby mobs. But on tier one, it's the fifth shot. So I think the Red Snake is pretty cool, but at the same time, the fifth shot is not very powerful. So now you guys are probably wondering which range weapon, which bow or crossbow is currently the best one to use in Minecraft Dungeons on the highest apocalypse difficulties. Well, guys, let's be honest right here. It all comes down to personal preference. And of course, also the way how you like to play your way through Minecraft Dungeons, because really we have so many different people, so many different playstyles. For example, some people, they really like to put on some very tanky damage dealing armor, bash their way through big packs of enemy 
Green Mobs with their two-handed weapon and then right at the end destroy the boss with that same weapon. Well, for that you won't need a ranged weapon with a lot of capabilities. You can run with pretty much the Feral Soul crossbow and also the Bow of Lost Souls. Then you also have people that always simply like to use the best things in the game. Well, I think the Harp crossbow is definitely the top tier weapon which you can get your hands on that will easily wipe every single mob in the game on higher difficulties with this combination multi-shot power dynamo consistently. Here you can see me destroying some enemy mobs with a Harp crossbow on the highest apocalypse difficulty which is currently level 7 plus 20 so it is definitely great fun and if you want to use this as offhand as offhand weapon I think it's definitely going to help you out big time for clearing those crazy levels but then of course if you like to speedrun guys I think the bow of lost souls or the winter's touch right here with burst bowstring infinity tempo theft is gonna be super awesome because you will be able to steal so much movement speed with this tempo theft right here that will pretty much bring you to the end of the level in less than a minute my beloved Bow of Lost Souls, for example, right here, is not even close of becoming the best weapon in the game. But at the same time, this one allows me to speedrun to the Mushroom Monstrosity in less than 45 seconds, while it heals me in the background as well. So that is why I really love this weapon. And last but not least, this is one of the worst weapons out there, the Burst Gale Bow. But guys, look at this one in action. It is actually so much fun to play. So we have this Rolling Charges Next Arrow, which is pretty much the Roll Charge enchantment. Every time when you roll, your next arrow will be fully charged, so you can actually instantly shoot three arrows in a row. So first off, we use our charge shot when an enemy comes closer, then we roll, so we automatically hit them with a burst bowstring on this weapon once again, and then we shoot the bow itself. So it shoots three arrows within a second, which is in my opinion very awesome, and it will also pull enemies towards you. So guys, there are so many different bows out there, so many awesome combos that you can use, but just focus on what you really like to play with. The top tier is definitely the harp cross bow, the Winter's Touch and also the Firebolt Thrower. You can also go for their alternative fire irons like the Imploding Crossbow, the Lightning Harp Crossbow and in general for dealing a lot of damage the Guardian Bow and the Red Snake will be great fun but um, just take whatever floats your boat. Guys I hope this clarifies a little bit more about the best bow in the game. It's definitely up to you what you're gonna play with, what your playstyle is in Minecraft Dungeons. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. And of course, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel because there is so much more coming your way. Right now it is 4 a.m. out, time to work on a new video project. I've got so much more on my plate. It's gonna be ciao for now. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.